Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Celtic video. Um, obviously, from the title, you know it's Celtic versus Rangers Scottish Cup fourth round preview. Of course, at Ibrox, it was all news when it happened. You know, the draw. I knew it was probably going to come out um, Rangers and Celtic. Um, I'll be talking a bit about my my prediction, obviously, um, probably team sheet and yeah, score prediction. That's it, really. Um, you know, let's get into it. Um, uh, Follow the guys, let's get into it by score prediction. I'm guessing Celtic only went 2 1. I'm hopeful that Celtic only went 2 1. Um, they showed from the last um, Derby pre the Derby game that we can do something to Rangers, and that thing is we can score against them, um, but our defence is still shaky. Um, obviously, that Morelos goal. So, we just need to work on that. If we got that defence taken up, I think we can win. I'm going 2 1. I, I'm going to one Celtic game. Um, now we just want to the team sheet now. I think um now we should look some I think um John Kennedy will go for a bit like the team he put out against Lumson where we a, 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 a lovely six 0 win. It was a like you were in heaven seeing Celtic score six past Lumson. Um he went with a four three three. He went with Bingo, which is obviously going to be expected. Um, with a back four, a Kenny, Welsh, Aria, Taylor. I think I, I'm going to expect that at the start on Sunday. That back four, a Kenny, Welsh, Aria, and Taylor. And that, that back four might get that tight, that defence tightened up a wee bit more. Obviously, the last um, um, derby game we played lax up instead of Taylor because Taylor was still injured. Um, Taylor might bring that wee bit of defence of more style to the game, which might. You know, help our defence more. Hopefully, it will and the attack as well. I think Greg was brilliant on the attack against Lumsden last week there. So hopefully, they can do it against Rangers on Sunday. Uh, moving into midfield now, I think David Turnbull definite start. Scott Brown definite start. McGregor definite start as well. Midfield crucial in that point and attack as well. I think that's going to start as well. Um, the worry is for me, James Forrest is a doubt for Sunday. He was crucial for Saturday's game. Um, Saturday's game there against Saturday Lawrence in there. You know some goals you might have never got except, um, if it wasn't for Forrest going in the attack. You know, um, obviously I are brilliant for assists for um, um, when you see the goal there. But the reason I'm saying this is because Forrest, I think it's crucial in this Celtic team. And if you want to miss him on Sunday against this um, in great Celtic, I say inform Rangers side. We're going to struggle. Um, you know, we weren't too bad, as I said, in the last derby at Celtic Park there, 1-1. Um, without Forrest. Uh, no, Forrest actually came on, actually. I think, or he, came, or he was starting, I don't know. He was actually alright, but he, ju he was just coming back from injury. Right. Obviously, the main man, Forrest, uh, Edward's going to be up there, of course, up front. And I think Elnus is going to be also in a 4-3 attack. And I'm hoping Forrest is there. Fingers crossed, Forrest is there um, in that game there. Um, it's a 4 3 3. Um, really, nothing else to talk about, obviously. Um, if you've seen the, the other video there the other, um, yesterday, it was Kamala. He also moved to Red, um, he sealed a deal to New York Red Bulls. Check it out, guys. Um, I'll not too, I'll not talk too much about that because you can go and check that out. Um, yeah, that's really all we talk about, to be honest. Um, you know. I'm excited for this derby. I really want to see Celtic go out there and win it because it's our last chance of a piece of silverware this season, the last chance of a trophy. And a wee bit of pride out there um, to show that we can still win a Scottish Cup against Rangers, even though it's the fourth round, you know, we're not there at the final yet. But hopefully can we beat we can beat Rangers on Sunday. Um I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'll be doing my reaction also on Sunday night as well, so make sure to stay tuned to the channel on that guys. I don't know of that guys before the end the um the what do you call it? Um, before we end the preview, I want to put out that this um, it's not, it's not, this video will also be on Spotify, so the audio will be on Spotify and all your the best um, apps out there you listen to your music and all that stuff that will be out there. Um, all you have to search up for is, um, let me just get it up, it is, it's just got to put up, so in fact I'll show you right now. I'll show you. It's this one here. Look at that. It's, there's only one on it. It was back in December 2020. So, 
Um, all you have to search up on you uh, on Spotify if you want to listen to Spotify, also the best one there. It's the Celtic Mind podcast slash on YouTube. You don't really that. Just put the Celtic Mind up for it. I can search it for you. But just put Celtic. Oh, that's in capitals. Celtic Mind. Oh, right. You get the state. I mean, that's the big one, right? Uh, and you put podcast. There you go. Just put. You got to put the main one podcast in. And it's the first one with that one there in the banner there, and you click on it, and that's the latest one that was out also back in December. Haven't been too much podcast back then, and um, I haven't figured out how to get the audio on, but now I have, so make sure to follow me on Spotify as well and subscribe on YouTube. So I'll see you guys for the post match um, reaction on Sunday, um, on Sunday night, guys. Hopefully, it is a good one. Um, hopefully, beat Rangers. As my score prediction says, two one. Maybe we give a clean sheet. You know, we did well against Lumsden. I know, I know, Rangers are a big, big bear side in Lumsden, but hopefully we can. So subscribe, like, and if you watch, if you listen on Spotify, please follow. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys. And until then, guys, peace.